And that's where I want to welcome in Stephen Moore, a former senior economic advisor to President Trump. Stephen, do you agree with the president on this trade deal? It's the largest. Is it the largest deal ever made on the North American uh, in North America? It may well be, and I generally do agree with the president on that. You know, we uh, we needed to get an extension of the of the free trade zone between Canada, the United States, and Mexico, and uh, Donald Trump has pulled that off. And I was worried nine months ago that you know that the whole free trade agreement would be blown up, and now what we've got is an agreement that actually, in a lot of ways, is similar to the old NAFTA, but it's improved and it's modernized and. There are areas, for example, the protection of intellectual property here in the United States has been improved. Uh, remember, there were some real, you know, just uh, unjustified uh, abuses that were going on with yeah. respect to things like the 200 percent dairy, uh, uh, you know, tariffs that were placed by uh, by uh, Canada against U.S. Uh, you know, farmers, and and that that has ended. And so I, I'm very happy with this. I think it's pro growth. I think it's good for all three countries: Canada, U.S., and Mexico. And it makes us better able to compete with uh, Europe and with the, <coughs> with Asia. And Stephen, you know, we hear these terms. Americans hear G20, G8, G7. Can you briefly explain what these summits are, what those letters and numbers yeah. mean, and what's going on in Buenos Aires? Yeah. What it means for Americans? Well, these are a lot of stuffy people, self-important people who get together a couple times a year and, and tell each other how important they all are. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of these meetings. But uh, there's a big, big, uh, you know, agenda item here. And all eyes are really focused on these uh, negotiations that will go on this weekend between uh, Donald Trump and President Xi of, uh, of uh, China. You know, we are in a trade battle with them. China is engaged in extremely abusive trade practices that we can no longer live with. Uh, you know, it's like we've had a kick me sign on, on the United States back for the last 10 years. And finally, we have a president and Trump that's standing up to China. And, you know, he's basically said, unless China makes some very uh, serious concessions here and, and starts to play by the rules and stops cheating and stealing, if they don't do that, then they're going to get slapped with even more punitive tariffs. So, look, my hope is that we get an I don't think we're going to get a final deal here, but I hope they make some progress. You know, a deal to make a deal would be would be good progress. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, talk about a little good news going into the weekend. Gasoline prices are down 31 yep. cents a gallon uh, over a month ago today. That looks yep. like pretty good news going uh, into sure the is. Christmas season, doesn't it? Yep. About 40 yep. seconds to you, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's great news. It's like a tax cut for the American consumer. If you have to spend less to fill up your tank, you can spend more money on going to a restaurant or, you know, paying your uh, home heating bill or, you know, doing your Christmas shopping. So really, really great news on that end. And now the Fed looks like they're not going to be raising rates so much. No recession in sight. Economy is flying high. Thank you, Donald <laughs> Trump, for fixing our economy. Stephen Moore, always great to see you. Thanks so much for your time today. Have you a great too. weekend. You too. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more breaking news coverage, exclusive interviews, and great videos, click over here to our YouTube channel and subscribe. And don't forget to download the free Newsmax TV app. Newsmax TV, it's real news for real people.